I'm just looking for like any distraction from the fact that my heart's shattered into a million pieces. Like I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I'm getting broken up with by gross old men. Oh, honey, no, he 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 wasn't that gross. No, I mean he he seemed nice. He he was responsible. He did run a successful mobile home business. How did you know about that? What? How did you know that? I, uh, uh, where did I hear that? S some, you talked to him. Well, I, I just, for, I did talk to him, brief conversation, but just in passing. Why would you do that? I told you that I was in control of the situation. Well, honey, I don't know whether you were. I was just trying to help. Alexis, in the past, I, I couldn't always be there for you when you were, when you were dealing with Heartbreak. I wasn't there to protect you. And I guess I was just being a bit overzealous and trying to make up for lost time. Well, if you really want to know, I dated guys like a whole lot worse than Artie. Where were you when I was dating half the cast of White Squall? Oh, don't really want to know. What am I going to do now? <laughs> Okay. Okay. Yeah, C cry for a bit. <laughs> Wonder when David will be home. <laughs> and we're closed! Oh, it's not the stock market, Jocelyn, but yes, the day is done. Is it always this busy? I mean, I feel like when I've been here before, it's just been me. Mm. Well, today was a great day for us. And with that in mind, um, David has something that he would like to say. Two things, actually. Um, first thing, thought we discussed shelving have a rosy day. And people seem to enjoy it. Yeah. And two, Patrick and I would like to officially welcome you to the sales staff here at Rose Apothecary. Oh my gosh, that is so sweet. <laughs> You're welcome. But I just don't think it's for me. Mm. It's not for you? Yeah, I mean, as David would say, I just don't think it's in my brand. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said that. It's just not for me. Yeah. Huh. So this store is just not for you? Yeah, I'd rather take my chances, you know, see if some tutoring gigs come up. Tutoring? Because that's a, a better job than working here. Well, I find teaching students very fulfilling. Oh. You know, not what you two do here isn't fulfilling, you know, for you. But it's just not fulfilling. For you, got it. For her. Yeah. Well, hey, what, whatever you want to do. <laughs> Thank you for the opportunity. <laughs> and you guys can keep the bell. Oh, the bell. Because <laughs> you might need it a little more than me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come by tomorrow to pick up my paycheck. OK. <laughs> she does know this is a training session, right? What does that even mean, not for her? Well, um, I think it means our store. It's just not for her. It's just not for her. I got it. I think that's what it means. Thank you. Mm -hmm.